It was a dark and stormy night. Thank you, Valhalla Game Studios, for giving us an unskippable uh, title card. I thought it was a uh, hard cut to the opening sequence. I, I was honestly, I feel like it probably would have been better if they did. I, I thought it was like no, a Viking thing. <laughs> I was like, no okay. chance for any, no chance for anything. Just straight up, begin. So, this is Devil's Third. It's a video game. I think you will find, my friend, that it is not just a video game. It is art. Ajax one, approaching target. Oh no, it's Halloween. Now I'm really spooky. Three hostiles with RPGs. We can hit them from the other side of the world. And then run around with 50-year-old Soviet weapons? Why do they even bother? Hard to understand sitting in an air-conditioned trailer in Vegas. Target locked. Fire. Payload away. I just want to say this is really gripping. Well, there, there's Goldeneye. Oh, Finally no, got rid of that old program. <laughs> He, he's activated the satellite self-destruct sequence. And now it's causing a chain reaction of other satellite destruction. Where's the backup? <laughs> Aren't they in Nevada? Yes. How do they, they have... Do, okay, I'm pretty sure Aurora Borealis just doesn't happen in Nevada. <laughs> Well, you see, the satellites br breaking into each other fucked up the atmosphere so much that now there is an, uh, the Aurora Borealis there. Oh, oh, guys, guys, we're getting serious here. This is Guantanamo. I just love how Greenpeace is trying to clean our atmosphere in the best of ways. So this is how jail works, right? Yeah, you just get to hang out in your vault and play drums all day. Oh, Ivan's such a badass. He, he is, he looks like it. I don't see how anybody could look at this man and not think that he is the coolest motherfucker on Earth. I mean, look at all those tattoos. How easily he snaps those drumsticks. Yeah, you know... Those drumsticks are like seven bucks a piece. Got to my playing time straight to hell. Blame that on the trouble top side. That's what I need your help with. I don't do prison riots. Well, it's a lot tougher than you think, but I think you like the reward. I see. He's also he also has the uh, wine room service. Oh man, he's got one of those sweet Japanese tattoos all over his back. He doesn't, yeah, he does. He doesn't even need the shirt anymore. Prison guards are dead and the inmates are running wild through the cell block. I need you to get past him to get to the surface to meet me. Do you copy? Every asshole in this place knows I'm working for you. Might be a few minutes. So we have a Russian who's pretending to be Japanese that's helping the President of the United States to save the world? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> so, Devil's Third is the latest game from Tomonobu Itagaki, who uh, has uh, the Ninja Gaiden reboot and uh, Dead or Alive to his uh, his uh, credit. Um, this is a Wii U exclusive after being canceled for Xbox 360 and PS3. Legendary prisoner in my ass. Now, oh, why was it canceled, Chaos? <laughs> because it was being published by THQ. Uh, this this lighting engine really, really selling it on me. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you gotta light in a heavy attack. Um, you can kind of mix up your combos. 
Uh, heavy attacks are slower, but they kill dudes faster. Light attacks are faster, they kill dudes slower, that did kind of thing. You, did you just give that man a slow motion beat down in the air? Yes. Ivan's just that badass. Yeah, come on. You know, I'm starting to see it. Uh, what, the, the 13 minute drum solo we just watched that will be thankfully cut wasn't enough? Argate, if you cut even a second of that drum solo, I'm quitting this LP. <laughs> There's no way that drum solo is getting cut. Um, you can press the L button to block, and if you uh, tap the left stick in any direction while blocking, you'll do a dodge or sidestep, depending on how you press it. Also, if you steal an enemy's melee weapon, or weapon in general, while you kill them, you will kill them with the weapon in a very special animation. I just want to point out real quick, that Ivan is such a badass that we had a gun pointed at us, and the first thing that in our first objective was get a melee weapon. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we, we don't need another gun bullshit here. We're gonna ruin this guy's day with our own two hands. <laughs> and this iron pipe. Ivan's about to make you his bitch. So. Uh, hidden throughout each mission, there are, um, trophies that explain a little bit more about Ivan, or the level you're in, or maybe the story. But I don't really want to go look for them all. <laughs> That's a pixel hunt I really don't want to go through. Oh, well, I guess we can cross off this being a 100% run. Oh no, we can't go straight forward. Where's the love? <laughs> uh, that's one of my favorite songs. Poison Arrow. It's another good one. Yo, what do you mean? Damn, is that him? So, enemies can also block in this game, and the easiest way to get around that is just use a heavy attack. I love how gory the game is, for no reason. It tries to be gritty. Yeah! Oh man, was that an- was that an action slide? Hell yeah! <laughs> when you're sprinting, if you want to slide, just click down the right stick. It'll get you through tight corners like this. Also, there are bats in the sewers. Okay, were you just getting killed by bats? Yeah! yeah. Bats are the most deadly thing here in this level. Oh my god. Ivan can handle bullets. <laughs> bats, can, maybe not so much. He can handle getting a knife thrown at him, but not bats. Also, you can throw your melee weapon, but, um... It's a little janky. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that's quite... Alright, no, I know he did not just punch that bat. <laughs> he elbowed it right in the face, didn't you see? <laughs> I fucking love this guy. <laughs> Fuck bats. That's like Guantanamo Bay of our life, are there for life. <laughs> Murder one. <laughs> uh, certain walls you can parkour up by just pressing B and um, at the left stick towards them. Are these bats still on us? Jesus. Yes. Bats in this level are relentless while you're down there, but thankfully they're we're done with them. Like, you saw the bats in, in the Batman games, those are the good bats. So, if you press the ZL button you with a melee weapon equipped, you can do basically a lock-on. Um, if you press the light attack button, you'll basically do a plunging attack from Dark Souls. If you press the Y button, that's how you throw your weapon. But again, janky. Well, to be fair, that was kind of your fault on that one. A little bit. I was gonna be honest, for a second there I thought we were going to get killed in the middle of that cutscene, <laughs> and I thought that just would have been absolutely perfect. Very appropriate for a Ride to Hell quality game. <laughs> so, this game, uh, it has one nice feature for those uh, kill cutscenes, and it's that you have iframes throughout all of them. So even if you're about to die, if you manage to trigger one of them, which is kind of random, to be honest, uh, you're not going to die until it's over, at least. Look, 
I'm really hoping for more of these disarm kills. Oh, there are plenty. Oh, good. Getting my Dead to Rights vibe on. I was going to say, so this this is going to be a 100% animations LB then, right? <laughs> as far as I can tell. Don't let me down, Chaos. Um, I also want to point out that if you press the ZR button with a gun equipped without aiming down, um, you'll shoot in third person mode, which is super inaccurate. <laughs> I was begging for his life, Chaos. You jerk. Why did that man's head have enough blood to coat the entire wall and the ceiling? Because uh, they're working on uh, Explosion Man physics here. Uh, I, I see. Have you not seen his jump? It's like a one-to-one -one copy. This is me just making sure there's nothing in that room I, I missed. Because uh, sometimes there are little things you can pick up, like this manual here, or this machete. Even the in-game manual doesn't tell you how to play. <laughs> Not really, no. <laughs> the machete is a, a lighter weapon and slightly weaker than the iron uh, pipe, but it's, it's still pretty good. Tags faster? Somewhat, yeah. It doesn't really matter because like it kills about as fast as the um the iron pipe. <laughs> wow. Okay, remember Chaos, don't take a Molotov cocktail to the face as you exit cover. <laughs> I'll try not to. <laughs> I'll give this guy a Molotov cocktail to the face though. <laughs> I love that even when he's just standing face to face with some dude, he still feels the need to do this like jumping slash with the machete. <laughs> it's just so stupidly over the top, I love it. I think it, it Ivan needs to assert his dominance. It looks exactly like whenever I play a fighting game, to be honest. Hey man, jump attacks are OP in Street Fighter, didn't you know? <laughs> Good one, Ivan. It's okay, we shot that guy in the toe a few times. <laughs> He'll never walk again after this. I don't really understand the point of these open cells here. It looked like the one had one of the manuals. Yeah, it, I was just thinking it that. It doesn't. It's for the devs to screw with you. So... What is this? Uh, is this a two-gun game or? It's two guns and a melee weapon. Now we have a shotgun. Right, and I assume that you can just kind of swap. A Wait, what? <laughs> the flames of their swords. <laughs> <laughs> so, I didn't mention it, but every time you melee kill enemies, um, you you fill up a little gauge over in the lower right corner. <laughs> When it's full, you can activate M'Baku mode, which is this game's devil trigger. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought it would like translate to something like <laughs> the idiot button. <laughs> I am not entirely sure what M'Baku mode does. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I think we should just start calling it the Baka mode. <laughs> Get it over with. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like. <laughs> I like how he had to charge up with a nice little pep jump. Well, I mean, if the most important thing that it does is it makes all of our tattoos glow, which makes us look like even more of a badass. They're not just glowing, they're basically on fire. Ivan is, like, awesome for any rave. I would love to see him there. As far as I can tell, M'Baku mode increases your durability, makes you a little stronger, which doesn't really affect much considering you kill everything so fast anyway, and makes you faster. Because if not for M'Baku mode, I would have had to slide under that blast door. I mean, to be fair, that does seem like a pretty standard devil trigger mode. <laughs> it does. I'm just really frustrated with the with it because the manual doesn't actually say what, specifically what it does. It just it makes Ivan stronger. Well, that's all you need to know. 
Yeah, come on. Why would you care about him living longer? All you need to know is that Ivan is even more powerful now. <laughs> no, maybe they can't tell you because since you're working for the president, it's classified. Seems legit. <laughs> Maybe in Baku mode stands for like dubstep mode. <laughs> Fucking machete kill. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell kind of scream was that? He was like, uh, uh, he's crying to his mother. <laughs> it was a Monday when they recorded that one. <laughs> That's the screams of. Being lit on fire, apparently. <laughs> oh, I even threw a Molotov at me. <laughs> they should have really used the uh, the screams from Payday too. Oh man, this guy has tattoos that can rival ours. You know what happens when you poke your head up? Die, Die motherfucker! <laughs> yeah, but the difference is that Ivan has like a shark tooth ne necklace, and that makes it even more badass. <laughs> it's true, we are still the top badass around. <laughs> Ivan's a surfer. <laughs> I don't know why, but it makes it funny. Alright, so this is the first boss of the game. His name is Molotov, and he has a bunch of dudes in the arena just shooting at you. Good throw, Ivan. <laughs> so, generally the safest thing to do- Oh wow, that bullet decapitated that guy! <laughs> generally the safest thing to do in this fight is kill everybody first, and then shoot at Molotov while he does nothing at you. <laughs> You've gotta be kidding me. you got to be kidding me. They didn't- they didn't give the boss a single attack? No, not for phase one. <laughs> <laughs> I was really expecting him to say something there. <laughs> Phase two, he throws Molotovs at us. Well, that makes a surprising amount of sense. Come on out, you goddamn cockroach! Also, I gotta say, uh, you ran out of bullets for the assault rifle very quickly. <laughs> I like how you have 150 and 5. No, that's how many Molotovs I've got. Oh. <laughs> it looked like a bullet to me. Oh, so, there's, so there's just an infinitely respawning box of Molotovs right there. And ammo. Yeah, don't you know Guantanamo Bay? Come on, it's all Molotovs and assault rifles <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah, so, I, I guess to be fair, this is the first boss. Uh. So this is phase three. Now he actively shoots at us. All the time. This is... Yeah, it's like, it doesn't look like he stops at all. He doesn't really, no. Thank oh, if you go idle for, like, maybe half a second, Ivan will start smoking. Awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. He, Ivan really is just the culmination of everything that is generic badass, and it's amazing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I figure I should come clean. Uh, I did a case study on 50 of the most badass video game characters, and I came up with Ivan as a result. <laughs> I was like, what works? What works? He smokes. Good. Tattoos. Yep. Japanese tattoo. Even better. Shark Duke Netflix. Tattoos on fire? Perfect. <laughs> Shark Duke Netflix. <laughs> Winner. Also, I'd like to add to his idle animation that very rarely he'll take a, dr a swig from his flask. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they all falling towards the same location? <laughs> Why is this the president's car? <laughs> because every other car got fucked up by EMPs. That's what you want me to do. Okay, so this car doesn't have an alternator. The stars. That's one way of looking at it. Pretty much. This involves some of your old pals, Ivan. 
Look, how come they don't have the supercar from Sleeping Dogs? Big Mouse. Because that one has a lot of electronics, and that would and that got fucked up by EMPs. But you had an EMP in the car. That doesn't mean it can't be EMP'd itself. <laughs> That's how <not> that works. <laughs> I love how the president has gone to Cuba in the oldest car in a U.S. museum. So they had to bring this car to Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> I, I, yep. think, I think you're putting a little more thought into this than Itagaki did, just throwing that out there. 